First of all, most people can barely pronounce gastroenterologist, let alone spell it. So why on earth would anybody need one? Well, a gastroenterologist is a specialist doctor who has special interest and expertise in the diagnosis and management of diseases of the digestive system. Now, this digestive system would involve several parts. For example, it starts at the esophagus and goes down into the stomach and into the small intestine. And after masses of small intestines, then it goes into the large intestine, which is also called the colon, and then the exit point, which we call the other end. Associated with these organs are the other organs of digestion, for example, the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas. So all these organs constitute the digestive system. Now, a gastroenterologist is a specialist who has first been trained in internal medicine. This means that we have to have a wide and deep knowledge of all bodily systems and their physiology as well as what can go wrong and how to treat the various systems. Only then do we then subspecialize into gastroenterology or the digestive system. This is important because even though we are specialists in one, in one system called the digestive system, the system does not exist in isolation from the rest of the body and it's very important to treat patients holistically and to understand that diseases or malfunctions of different organ systems can impact the digestive system and vice versa as well. Most gastroenterologists are also hepatologists, which is a term that means um, a specialist of liver diseases. Why is there a distinction between a gastroenterologist and a hepatologist? Actually, there isn't. Most gastroenterologists are also hepatologists because the liver is an organ associated with the digestive system. But because the liver is so complex, has so many functions, and is subject to so many different influences and so many possible diseases, some gastroenterologists take a very special interest in the liver. Most gastroenterologists have a wide knowledge of the digestive system, including the liver, the gallbladder, the pancreas, and therefore we cover the entire territory. A gastroenterologist at the same time is also an expert endoscopist. Mm -hmm. Now, what is endoscopy? Endoscopy in the digestive tract is the ability of the gastroenterologist to look into the tubular organ, which is the digestive tract, using a high technology, flexible tubular instrument with cameras and lights at one end and the ability to pass surgical instruments through to either biopsy tissues or to conduct some therapeutic procedure. Endoscopy is a skill which has to be learned over many years. Gastroenterologists specialize in endoscopy. In fact, gastroenterologists do no other procedures. And so our entire focus in terms of our practical procedures is on endoscopy. In general, most endoscopic procedures have been invented by gastroenterologists. The interpretation of the pictures and the various methods by which we diagnose tissues is also something which has been mainly developed by gastroenterologists. Most of the research in the world on endoscopy has been conducted by gastroenterologists. Gastroenterologists as a group, therefore, are highly specialized in endoscopy and how we use it to diagnose and treat digestive conditions.